To my dearest beloved, to the moment I first laid eyes on you, it was around 6 p.m. on that cool fall evening in 2018. Just to be expected, I was fashionably late to dinner with my family. I parked and walked towards the entrance. I walked through the echoing restaurant with booths and tables filled with people, meeting the eyes of strangers, and smiling, soon to sit down with my family. Little did I know, a few moments later, my life would forever change. that I've spent years diligently praying for. All of the moments when I poured my heart out to the Lord and spoke to him about the man that I would one day marry. I didn't know it then, but I was praying for you and for this immeasurable love that we share. Kyra is always the first one to include others, consider everyone's feelings, and put her family before herself. You love the unlovable. But it's God who can make your hearts pound as one. It's incredible the miracle he does. The one who ordained marriage wants to be first in everything. He wants to be the priority, the priority amongst all priorities. My heart should dimly burn And if my feet should fail to run Call my Hey Kai, um, it's our wedding day in 2022 and um, we have been waiting for this moment and this day for so, so long, uh, and it's finally here, and I love you dearly so, so much. Um, and when you see this, uh, you're probably going to be smiling. Wow. <laughs> oh my you're going to be gosh. smiling the rest of this day and the rest of our lives together. And um, I love you very much, and I will see you soon. I've already seen the incredible ways that God has moved in your relationship and through you both as you love others, and I know that God will continue to do more than you could ever ask or imagine. I love you both from the bottom of my heart, and I'm so excited to watch you guys start this life together. I got to meet Joshua over the year of COVID, and um, Kyra had to like come back home and live, and so there was just like a lot of FaceTiming and and whatever and I knew that in this time that God had specifically spoken to me and is like yeah that's the man that's gonna marry your daughter no and, and my kids know this that I always tell them the two most important days in their life is the day that they were born and that the day they find out why and I've since have learned that finding out the day why has been several days. And you may now kiss the bride. Um, the day you were born, you became a son and a brother. Today you became a husband, and someday you're going to become a father. The last couple of years, our relationship and our brotherhood got tighter. We do still fight, of course, but for different reasons. We fight hard because we love harder. Through thick and thin, good and bad, you're my big brother. <laughs> I always look up to you. I always look up to you. And I've always admired you. And Kyra, I could not be any happier than you now a part of our family. <laughs> tells us that there's three things that last forever, faith, hope, and love. So here's toast to our faith in Jesus Christ, toast to the hope in your marriage, and a toast for love that we have all for each other. Here, here.
but you know how lucky you are to have Kyra as your wife. I know there is still so much that I don't know about you, but I am excited to continue to get to know you and watch you two grow into the most powerful couple I know God has called you to be.